Chris, and we're back again with the FPU Amiga 1200. As you can see, we have the TF1230 still in here, Scan Plus AGA, the ROM, uh, the Amiga Kit Sensors Clock Battery Backup RTC Clock Sensors Module is in there. We heat synced the budgie, we heat synced everything, all the DRAMs, the CIAs, the Alice has a heat sink. Got this sucker pimped. We're rocking a Sandus 32 Extreme with a non buffered uh, IDE to compact flash. So, our friends way up north of me in Canada have a store called Retro Rewind. So, I paid 56 real dollars to me. Um, I used my own coupon, no code, saved 10%. Pretty cool. Shipping was 15 bucks. The, the product was 45 US dollars. So, what is it? <laughs> I'm not cutting that. I'll leave that in. What is it? It's a compact flash buffered IDE with an actual external header to run dual devices. This is buffered. This is the Amiga 600-1200 compact flash adapter, even with a master, slave, and an LED. Really good quality parts, too. This is not your cheap crap. It is going to rest just like this one is. This one is uh, another, you know, branded Amiga one. And to install it, this is just remove this one, slide your card out, put my card in, and put this back down. <laughs> I'm done. Now, thanks to Frank at Retro Rewind and his amazing team of people, if there's more than one, let's see how this thing does. Now I have an extra IDE header where I could run something else, like an external CD-ROM. I don't know why the hell I would do that on an Amiga 1200, but you can. No clearance problems at all. I broke my GoTech button off when I put my case on incorrectly and didn't do this. We're going to let this boot. Once again, my Amiga takes a little while to boot because of the Scan Plus AGA and all the other magic that it's running. But I want to see if this buffered thing helps out. It's booting a lot faster than it used to. The previous adapter I was using was called Amiga CF IDE adapter. Master Slave is a solder jumper. And the product I'm using is the uh, A600-1200 buffered Comic Flash 2 IDE adapter from Retro Rewind. Get yours today and use my code no code and save an additional 10 percent something like that good deal support frank and his friends even though they're in canada we'll let that slide i'm going to run the normal sysinfo so the previous one was 1.3 and this one's 1.6 now of course it's going to be cached i'll get 1.3 on the first hit 1.638400 it's a little bit faster i could get more speed with more buffers but i don't want to blow away my stuff let's go into uh Tools, or sys, tools, HD toolbox, and I'm going to check and see if I can bump the buffers up without blowing away my stuff. All right, partition drive, we're going to go advanced. I'm just going to see, oops, eh. partition drive, advanced options. We're going to give this 300 buffers just to see if I can, yep. We're going to go into partition drive again. We're going to go into this one. I'm going to give it 600 buffers. Why? Because I got RAM. I got boatloads of RAM. All right, so we've changed our buffers on our drive. Should I reboot it so the changes take effect? I think they're dynamic and they're instant. Let's go to sysinfo and verify that. Uh, drives, DH0 is still on 30, so we're going to reboot. Go to drives, DH0. Now we have 300 buffers. We were at 1.6 before. Now we're at 1.3. So, oh, there it goes. 1.638. Now it is checking it super fast. When I turn it off, Ugh. when I click this button, watch how fast the hard drive light just blips. Ready? So, click. <laughs> Put the mouse on the thing. You can see, watch, as soon as I click it. And there's no increase in speed. On this test, it's still at 136, 400, which is 300K 
faster than the other one. DH1 has 600 buffers and it's the exact same thing. It could be a cached speed, maximum speed of that bus. Anyway, it's a PIO mode 0 slash 1-ish IDE device. Remember, this is 1994. This is not your M2 NVMe of today. It's nice. Now I have a fully blown away Amiga 1200, 64 megs of fast RAM, 2 megs of chip, SJ Leary TF1230. Thanks to Alan Marks for making this and selling this to me. He's in Canada also. Check him out. And the TF1260 is available for this machine also from SJ. What are we rocking at? Uh, 93 degrees, 97% battery. A little bit warmer with the uh, running. Let's go to benchmarks and let's go to sys speed. One of my all time favorites. Requires MUI. La la la, Sysinvo, FPU is at 9 megahertz, CPU is at 51. That's not an actual accurate mark, but we'll hit it. There we go, FPU, 16.3 MIPS, Amiga 3000 is 65. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, because I have an Amiga 3000 right there. It doesn't have 65 freaking MIPS. Amiga 3000 has 65 MIPS. Oh crap, so I'm at 0.31 mega flops. I want to show you that this is wrong. So this is my Amiga 1200's sys speed, okay? It says that a stock A3000 has 65 MIPS and 26 mega flops. Here is an Amiga 3000 running sys info. I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see what it says. Oh my god. Um, is that 65 and 26? No, this is an 040. This is a 68040. Ah, God, sorry about the clicking. 68040 with an 882 and the MMU in use. And, uh, 19 and 4. So, I don't know what card sys speed says is in that. But, uh, yeah, even the 4000 is the exact same. It's about 20 MIPS and about 5 mega flops. Considering the 3000 and the 4000 both have 40s, 36 40s in them. Same OS, same ROM, everything. 3.2.1, 3.2.1 ROMs purchased from Hyperion. You only get the 3.2.1 if you're a 3.2 registered Hyperion user, which are now available online. If you don't have the key, please contact your reseller to see if they kept a log of your keys because they wrapped them on the cellophane, which most people were so excited and just threw it away. And your CD key was in there, or your registration key for online, because some of the ROMs used to have the stickers on them, and that became a problem. Anywho, there's no way the Apollo 1260 has 106 MIPS. No freaking way. Cool. So do I notice any benefits to this previous card? In my usage, I don't really know. Um, I don't do a lot besides click around things and play some games and run various utilities and listen to music. But if you're a heavy disc hitter and you want some assurance that you just knocked over an Amiga 500 all over the floor, oh my god, come on. Why are you always adjusting yourself? Because I'm fat and I'm lifting myself up to scoot the wheels back. That's what's going on because if I'm right here, I'm being in the front of the camera the whole time. You don't want to see that. So I adjust myself to slide the chair back. My apologies. So, benefits. Would I buy this? I did. Is it beneficial to me? Hell yeah. Why? Because the original card I'm using doesn't give me a pass-through and it is unbuffered. There's no buffer chips on here. Your, your writes and your reads are direct and uh, if there's ever any issue, there's no correction. It's just, hey, sorry. The buffering allows you to have a little bit of peace of mind knowing that your data is going where it's supposed to be when it's supposed to be. This was from Amigastore.eu. You can get some cheaper, cheesy, Chineseium ones off eBay. I like to try out everything that comes out as soon as it comes out so I can do a review and help you guys make the decision whether you want it or not. Um, I'm going to keep this in here, A, because it is a pass-through. I'm going to think, I think I'm going to try and hook up like another hard drive or, or something. Some real, I don't know. I'm going to hook something up to this thing as a slave and just see if it works. I might even put an old rotational drive back in here. Why? I really don't know because it's cool and I really enjoy the nostalgia of the whole thing and hearing that little thing whine is kind of nice. And I have about 60 of them over there from laptop removals from yesteryear. 
So that's all I got for this review of the Retro Rewinds Amiga 600, Amiga 1200 Buffered Compact Flash 2 IDE Interface. $45 RetroRewind.ca. If you use my code, no code, N O C O D E, you will save an additional 10% off while supplies last. And I think you even get some candy sometimes. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Frank, for making this. And as always, everyone, hope this helps you. And I hope you learned something.